Hello Lulus, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a part of the chat box, you can join that, ch that paid channel membership by clicking the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join and you must be at least 18 years old to join. Alrighty, so um, that chat box include exclusive uh, live streams and some exclusive behind the scenes content. That's it. Um, so I have Jasper here and just want to give a little bit of the background on Jasper. So Jasper is the birdie sculpt by Elsie Rodriguez and he has elbow armatures. He has an open mouth. He does not have a drink and wet. He's only 14 inches um, big <laughs> and Gosh, it's hard to get this snap. There we go. Um, so he's only 14 inches. And so I bought this kit like a year ago. Well, now it's been a little bit over a year. But I bought the kit a year ago. And um, I had the, at the time, I had a one called Ruby. Um, her name was Ruby. And um, she was the same school, but she was a girl. And we named her Ruby. Actually, um, Linda, I think Linda named her Ruby. And then I later said, okay, I'm going to sell her because I'm going to get a boy. Because my whole entire purpose was to try to paint um, the uh, boy in an AA skin tone. Um, but I, I initially wanted to paint Ruby in AA, but she just... She just uh, ended up being uh, between Caucasian and biracial, depending on which way you look at it. But um, she, so I really, really loved her. And um, she, uh, she was the first baby that I learned to do a different technique on them to try to make the paints paint a little bit seamless the way that I, I work with the silicone paint. Um, but anyway, um, so anyway, so I bought this sculpt and I was like, you know, I did the video showing a blank and all this. I'm thinking of names. And so um, Linda was set on him being named Jasper. So I named him Jasper. But then, you know, I started to paint on him at one point in between customs, but I just never finished. So he didn't even reach skin tone or anything like and um, so he had been put away for almost a year. And <laughs> me and Linda was talking and I. Or it might have been in the chat or something. I could not think of his name. I was like, what did I name him? And she, she, um, I know she wrote me and she told me his name was Jasper. And, um, so I was like, oh yeah, Jasper. So, um, that's how he got his name. Um, for those that may be new and have not followed his channel for a while, um, Linda is Birdie Babies. Um, on YouTube and so that was her name also on Facebook birdie babies and um, but on um, Instagram I think it was Rikushi and I couldn't pronounce that name and anyway I'm not gonna get into that but that was our funny little inside joke about it but um, so anyway so um, he so yeah, so Linda, but Linda uh, passed away on December, well, I was notified December 3rd, um, but anyway, so, um, I don't know, I just feel like, you know, we both, when we when I first met Linda and started chatting with Linda, or she started commenting a lot on my pictures and photos and stuff like that, and we both liked preemies at the time and we were really into the little little preemies and stuff like that so um i don't know i she 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 gifted me a bjd um like my first bjd really the real like with face up and all that stuff um and i have her in my my cabinet and first when you first walk in to my my living room um along with the BJD that I later bought myself. 
So I have something that's from her. I have lots of things. I have t-shirts that I wear all the time that she sent me. She sent me a mug. Like I have different things that she's sent me as, you know, thank you gifts and, you know, stuff like that. Um, she had a lot of my babies in her collection. And um, so, but she had those in her collection. So I was thinking to myself when she passed away, like, you know, what the things that I had, I don't want to ever let go of the things that I had that was from her um, and stuff. So I'm not going to say that I won't ever sell Jasper, but right now it's just kind of been one of those things where I just feel like I just need to hold on to him just a little while, just a little while longer. Because every time I look at him, he makes me smile because he makes me think of, um, you know, my friend, Miss Linda. So I always say Miss Linda. I always used to say Miss Linda, Miss Linda, Miss Linda. Um, so yeah, so I bought him this, um, so that's his story. So because his sculpt is called, he's a birdie sculpt and she was birdie babies. I, and she named him. I just, mm, I just feel like, yeah. Um, she really liked him. Anyway, these, I bought him some hand mints, but they were too big, which is fine because I am going to, I think, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're going to fit, um, Zuri. So I'm going to pass these along to Zuri, 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 Zuri. And, but I got these from the preemie store and the preemie store guys, believe it or not, the preemie store has tons of of little it's and odds for our babies and it's they have stuff more than just for preemies they have stuff for regular size babies as well but then i i got this little outfit like like i said it's been no i bought another outfit a while ago i don't even know where that one is i guess that is probably put up in my little preemie i got a bag with like micro preemie stuff and so I think it's in that stuff. But I bought this one when I was thinking about selling him. So I was getting, you know, him a couple little things to go home, which is very expensive. Um, from Sarah Wood. Um, she went up like big time from what her prices used to be once she got popular. So I don't really buy from her as often as I used to. And her stuff is really cute. And it's definitely, you know worth whatever she decides to sell it for because it's it's really well you know made um but um i'm cheap you know when it comes to clothes and stuff i'm very cheap i i i spend my money on the dolls itself and then the clothes i i go cheap <laughs> i think there's a ball here we already know you ball so we'll just take that off for now I'll straighten it out in a minute but um I just thought this was very cute. And the thing about me is I don't, he wrinkles really nicely too. The thing about me is that I don't really have to have a whole lot of clothes for my babies. And I, I did go through this phase. I don't know what I was going through, but I was really, really like shopping for clothes. And I was just buying clothes, clothes, clothes like crazy. Um, and it really makes no sense because I really could care less about my babies being in clothes. Like, um, and I don't get a chance to do as many changing videos as I used to, which is why, you know, normally the clothes will come in handy. But when, when I'm not recording, I don't change them as often, to be honest. Um, like him, he can stay in just, a and just a t-shirt or, I mean, just a diaper forever if it was up to me because I just like looking at his like his little tummy his little painting and stuff it's just it's not it's not the clothes for me but I do appreciate the mommies that style and profile their babies because they be so cute and when you do want to put them on clothes you do want to have things that you know that they can fit and look good in so I don't I'm not against buying clothes apparently if you see my baby closets you'll know I'm not but 
it's, I'm just saying that it's not a big to do for me. Yeah, this this doesn't go. This isn't the the hat that came came with it. Oh, what did I do with your hat? This goes to the other outfit. I think I like this hat better the way it fit. Maybe is why I did that. Now that I I think about it, I think that's why I had. I think it's because I like the way this one fit more. When I flipped it over and saw the little. Um, flags on it. I realized that it matched his other outfit that I bought from Sarah a while back. So I bought one a year ago and then one recently. But yeah, so I don't know with the little ones to me, um, some of the fun of collecting little ones is finding little cute little odd things occasionally. You don't buy as much because it's so expensive. Well, for me, I don't. But when you do, you really like it and you really appreciate it because, you know, they're 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 tiny and it's it's odd. Um, so, yeah. Um, but that's that. And I, I do most of my shopping online. So whenever I can find stuff that's online, that's where I go. Um, Pat Green normally can make me anything I ask to. So and she does really good work. So I really, um, I really enjoy her work as well on like clothes and stuff like that. And sometimes she has stuff already ready and that works nicely. Um, I'm trying to think of where else that I buy little clothes from. There's places on eBay and, you know, different places like that. And I, I heard a lot of people say they use like doll clothes, um, like regular doll clothes. Cause you know, we kind of consider our, our babies babies, but when I say dolls, I mean like play dolls or for kids. Um, so I've seen some of those online that I've I said, oh, I could try those or whatever maybe, and um, mix them mix mix and match a little bit. Um, one of the sis in the community, she's a sculptor. Um, gosh, I don't want to say her name wrong. Ah, I hate that it lost my mind. But she sent me stuff, a ruby. And I held that stuff because it was a gift. And I was so shocked that she sent me all the little things. So if I ever get a little girl again, a little tiny girl, I'll have a few clothes for that one. Um, but, yeah. So that's that's Jasper. He's he's a little peanut. He's not, not that big. Like This is literally the brush that I used to brush his hair with. And... I mean, he's not too much bigger than, longer than that. Has a cute size head and, I don't know, he's just a cute baby for me. I, okay, that was a beat. Gabby, what was that? What was that beat? Okay, let me go. Let me figure out what that beat was. 